peacocks for me are very important because they're, they're my um, they're like a totem animal they've taught me so much about myself we had actually um, a couple of peacocks here at the property a pea hen and a peacock that um, used to provide us with a lot of entertainment sort of appearing at the the living room window and sort of spooking the dog and and all of that but um, one day coffee our, our cow um, spooked the birds and they took off and we never saw them again and it it I that sparked for me um, some really big dreams. Um, my my yeah, my dreams were really quite vivid, um, and they, they were that nature of dream where um, you wake up and you remember everything, and with just the feeling that you need to explore deeper as to what they're about. So for me, um, peacocks are essentially about love and and um, sort of acting on um, dreams and desires. Um, for me, it was getting out there with my spiritual work in whatever form that was. Um, many years ago, whilst living in Sydney, I was working as an aromatherapist, remedial massage therapist. I did a bit of tarot reading as well, not that much. I was new, pretty new at it at that time, um, but um, yeah, I, I had a fast progression of development in terms of my spiritual self. So I, I'd end up taking um, quite a few years break from that work because I really needed to ground myself. Um, and uh, you know, in in recent years, I've really felt the urge to sort of get back and and get get cracking in some way shape or form and I didn't know whether it was going back to body work whether it was exploring um, my my mediumship skills um, um, you know but something that's always been with me since I was a little kid was um, writing um, and putting you know a book out there of some sort So my first book, which I had published last year, is Lovitude, Trying to Calm the Monkey Mind. Lovitude, very, very close to my heart. It was, it was actually a surprise that it came about to me. Well, I shouldn't be surprised, actually, because I had the manuscript sitting in my bookshelf for many years. I actually uh, um, had drafted the book um, initially, um, and I had it sitting there. And when my, my, um, my dad really sick last year we nearly lost him a couple of times and um, mum was in hospital <laughs> at the same time well trailing on a bit after that or it was more smack bang in the middle really um, he ended up she ended up in hospital having a, a major operation and then just as dad was getting better because dad went back into hospital for a triple bypass and then at the tail end of that my sister um, got diagnosed with with cancer during that time, there was a lot of emotional, mental upheaval for all of us. Um, and we were all sort of relying on one another, you know, to keep each, keep, keep each other sane, if you like. Um, for me, my way of coping was um, going for walks, um, indulging in my bit of photography it just sort of takes me to a beautiful space I wanted for my sister to be able to help her in some way and to remind her of some exercises that she could do for herself and um, that's basically what the book is I, I sent it to her in electronic format I you know I wanted mum and dad and my sister to know um, what I was doing and make sure that they were okay before it went anywhere but at the end of the day, it was something that um, they could use for themselves to um, help find their way through, um, you know, the big fears and, and feelings that were coming up, basically of um, mortality, um, you know, and fear of what the future was holding.